Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. Get out of my head.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Let's see what those blades can do. I believe I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. Foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's got to be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. When I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table.
watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Odin can survive this cold. So, if those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the Realm Travel Bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge. He'll lead us straight to him. You know, I'd really hope no- Use the fire of your blades to burn away that Hell's Bramble blocking the path. <laughs> Many reasons we went back for those blades. The newly dead should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. What? <laughs> When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study?
Is it within hell? Oh, no, no. Valhalla is part of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Midgard. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? Now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty.
have the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Yeah. Shh. It ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Yeah, all my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd nick those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See it? Just let her loose. that wind trap with your blades. See there? It's a little ball hanging in the middle of the door. Now target that wind trap with your blades. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then.
Shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Stand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. What? Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. And respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. You see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up.
Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well... It makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return, I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Olden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then.
Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But... After all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I was a god. Freya for sure. Barak and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're god. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. 
Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this battle? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Not to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later.
That's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. Though. Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's my great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that. in that vault that set you off. It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah. me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck.
And I thought those saws were scary. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. I don't see another trap for the... Uh... Winds of Hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. You know, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. On the wall. But there are three of them. What do I do? Atreus, focus. You can do this. Please, honey. I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay, think. Hot is the silver one. He hunts the moon. Skulls gold, and he chases the sun. 
for Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. That's something. We're not stopping! Wait! What's that big chain for? Fall it! Above you! Boy! You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. To do? Her knife? There's no other way! It's not working! That should have worked! But it saved you. That was cunning, boy. See what tears got for us. No, raise protection. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. metals from my home and from this land. One for myself. And when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. Must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. Power 
This weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Certain. I got it. Trust me. Good then. Aim for the face. Turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? We're so close to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. 
I think I'm gonna like being a god. We go where we want, we do what we want, and now we're gonna go see the giant. Ah, having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. I'm gonna tell Sindra I'm a god. I'd like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long, but now you will keep our secret. Huh. Yeah. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same, lad. Don't fret. So, lad, excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah. But also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Uh, oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear. I can't guarantee you'll like my work today.
Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. You let me carry it up from here. No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I questioned that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes oh, are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. doing too. Nice try. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tia wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. And he's dead. They're no better than us. And they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. to Magni. 
My own father. Call me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it. Or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. <laughs> Control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. killing these guys. Why are we going this way? Did we miss something back here? Keep your wits about you, boy. If Modi found us, Balder cannot be far. Good. I have a few words for him, too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he do the- This'll be easy! We're gone! I can't. We need a new way up.
training. Oh, are you talking to me? Thought you didn't like my tone. Feels like like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling. Like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. Broken. Wonder if Modi was somehow able to sever its connection to the world tunnel us here. A Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? I think she knows we're here now. Hopeless. from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude, but my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. Fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures. But perhaps if we can free more of them. You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? <sighs> That's the spirit. <laughs>
Teach me. You do not heed my lessons. I've done everything you asked. And all I wanted was the truth. Where did you get your fire? Why did you hide them? You said there are consequences to killing a god. You used the blades to kill one. Who else did you kill? Before Magma? How many? Do you hear me? I heard you. And these are not subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. Come here. Guess what? I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah. Uh, congratulations. Brothers, be warned. The tunnels I'm seeing in the walls up here show signs of recent dragon activity. We already killed that dragon. Oh, did you then? Well, how'd that go? Hey! <laughs> 
What does this say? It says, don't wake him. Whatever. We've killed everything else in this mountain. Who else wants a taste? Boy. Whatever.
whatever. Oh, hello. I didn't know you'd be coming through here. Don't need me anymore, huh? Come on, you two. The silence is getting unnerving. Don't worry about it. We're focusing. Nearly there now. Finally. Boy, the rune. Carve along that. Wow. You're not. 
We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why well, I remember once. Brother, look out! <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> Run, boy! Cross the bridge! No! I'm a god, too! I can do this! Get off him! Really? Walter, let him go! Take me instead! I'll do whatever you are! Shut up! All this time, I thought I needed you! You're just me. Uh, Turns out the boy is the brains. No! You broke the gate! That was the only way to Yonahan! Stupid son of a bitch! Get out of here, boy. Yes, by all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> Let's go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh! ready. Boy, I am... And here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now, would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! <laughs> Give up! Activated the bridge! Hey! I asked you a question! <laughs> Too late. It's locked in! <laughs> and when the bridge opens, the full weight of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over. Is it?
Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. In a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. Me. God. We can do whatever we want. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. It wasn't me. I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. Yeah. We must keep moving. Yeah. Ed, what was that? Not just the old and sick come to Helheim. So do the criminals. Hell must not draw a distinction between us and those whom these visions are meant to torture. How do we stop it? Escape Hell. As soon as possible. I'm not gonna let it bother. Like you said, Mimir, it was just an illusion. That wasn't me. No. But it is who you have become of late. Look, I know I got us in. But I'll get us out. Whoever I am. I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. <laughs> I don't mean to hurry you, but faster? Let me think.
Wait, I think I see Balder up ahead. has no power over you now. You would rather die? Never feel again? Yes. Yes. I would rather die. Yes. Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Son. Trust me. In time, you will find me. I never want to see you again. Never. <laughs> what you did to me. Freya is his mother. What Why did you keep did this from us, me? Ed? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you, I've no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this soon. Sure, this is seaworthy. She will do. Give me space to work.
Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall, which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanier built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Heathcliff near? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. At least the fire's making heat. What now? Let your father think. Just watch. Stay with the boat. I can't believe it. You just made a huge sky lantern. I said stay on the boat. Staying on the boat.
We need to talk, brother. You do realize it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Balder destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around he... Atreus is not your concern. Well, he might become everyone's concern if you don't do something. You don't have to be the smartest man in the world to see that. Atreus. I can help? Together now. Father, it is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Ed, how long before we reach the temple? Yeah, it's freezing. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad.
Fire staying lit. Would you believe your magic? <laughs> or those blades.
Your plan! You're both cracked! We are leaving this realm. Now! As long as we didn't wreck our way back. Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? 
secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him, and those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho, I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Marrowhead, why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Boulder's vulnerability. Boulder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Boulder's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Boulder's weakness. Did I? But Boulder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will fight. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo -gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, oh, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Oh, 
quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, look who's back. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack jaws? We just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. That's where the Jotunheim Tower used to be. The witch set has been gone for 150 winters. I wonder what kind of magic could make a whole tower disappear. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? <sighs> Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenheim door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like a more giant art. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy. This is the room for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving. What's moving? Everything. <laughs> Oh. 
Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you... what now? Statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach the whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is on a seal. Ah, not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Again with the death trap. Thought, brother, why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Mm. The chain! We made it! Time to do what you do, brother. Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us.
Carter Wood. Come. The other chain waits. Ah, it's the other kind. Variety is so important. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
for one never doubted. Right. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a wait. No. They're just waiting for us. What for? Agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. Look here, another. It says his name is Bergomir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was, and quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That little brother is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. Brothers, I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No. But it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. <laughs> Sir, I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. Hmm. A climb, you say? Aye, by the statues.
See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Jotunheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. we got some sort of travel stone let me see great our dumbless others that's the unity stone you know it I wasn't sure it existed if Tyr possessed this that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot he held this in the panel at Odin's library Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. You're saying Tyr Shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret that you that's what you need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Good. I am more than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the world tree just yet. In due time, boy. Uh, really? Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. Look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker, bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin does? He's like the king of gods. Of well, the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Let's go. 
got you all bum fuzzled over there. Get going! If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. Can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. No, oh, no, oh, this is considerably worse. <laughs> Dear, here they come. That's him. 
enough of that. Loose bomb. This won't be good. Where are we? Look! We're back in Midgard! There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. I trust an outsider with it, even Tia, tells you just how desperate they were. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Another name. Bloindo. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tia's braziers? You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. A minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot, but for years I had seen Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. That's... I'm sorry. 
As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The coin? Sorry, will you excuse me? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I do it now. Once more to the horn. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, father? <laughs> we really should expect that sort of response at this point. Funny. I used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. 
It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is one, isn't it? Aye. Most of it. Should we dock on this beach? There, the hammer. Maybe if that was closer. Not gonna make that. Idea where Odin hid your eye? No, it's not like I can still see through it. an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone.
does it feel, Mimir? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to you? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. To this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! still trust her, right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, 
I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Oh, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk, vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You. I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? You have to go! Please! No! I can reach him! You have to stop fighting! You in the blood! I hate you! Need your help! I can protect myself! Like you protect me? Selfish witch! Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! Ah! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> What is that? <laughs> I can feel this. <sighs> oh, I can feel everything. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now? Mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She's controlling that thing? No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! How touching! This will all be over soon! There! <laughs> Wonderful. 
Yes! 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 I feel, I feel freezing! I'm going to 
Both of you, you've done what even the Allfather himself could not. I've never felt more alive! Uh, ironic, isn't it? <sighs> Father, not a threat. You will not come for us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. And... Yeah. <laughs> 
help yourself. Can you, mother? No matter what, what I do or say, you won't... You won't stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I w I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. No. We can't. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. I know. No, 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 my boy! My dear sweet boy! No. Freya. He chose this. I will rain down every agony, every violation imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! That is my promise! He saved your life! He robbed me of everything! <laughs> everything! You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. 
Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. was no easy choice for anybody brother but i think we can all agree you did the right thing the world's a better place with freya in it just give her time lads she'll come around back to tears temple then one last time hi jotunheim awaits why did baldur say we cost Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Get you all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Boy, ahead. 
Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. 
Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Giants came back home so they could survive, but I'm not sure they did. Huh, who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. happening it's your axe it's smaller look she's arguing with a bunch of giants she New giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain? The stone mason? All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Mothers. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father? No. We do it together. Son. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. It all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> No. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we are missed it. I understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, 
am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs>